Hey guys, so for today's video, I have a cool fall makeup tutorial using grays and browns. I'm so excited to share with you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're starting off with primer, of course. I'm taking the Smashbox Primerizer just to hydrate the skin, mainly on the outer portions of the face. And then for the center, we're gonna take the Benefit Pore Professional, and that's just really gonna mattify and fill in the pores in the T-zone area, mainly focusing on the nose and like the inner cheeks part, but also just bringing it all over the T-zone center of the face. For foundation, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation, super long name, but I'm using it in the shade 3W1, which actually matches me. I know in my first impression it didn't match me, but I just realized in that, that particular week my tan wasn't as dark, but this is my shade now. So it does work and I have been loving this foundation. It just blends beautifully and it just it has a really nice finish. For concealer, you guys know the drill, I cannot get enough of this concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. It's going underneath the eyes and also in the center, kind of on the nose, on the forehead, and on the cupid's bow and chin. And I am going to be blending out the center with the Beauty Blender, but then you'll notice I switch over to the Sigma 3D HD sponge because I love that sponge for underneath the eye. So taking the Kat Von D Contour Palette, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that center shade and brighten and set the under eye with it. I absolutely love, love, love this contour kit. I would definitely say it's my fave. The powders just blend beautifully and I love this shade. It's light enough and it just really brightens up the under eye beautifully. I'm also gonna put it on the center too. So moving on, we're gonna do some cream contouring. I'm gonna use Latte and Truffle from Fenty Beauty, and Latte is gonna work as a really great kind of bronzer, and th the shade Truffle, I almost said the shade Fenty, <laughs> the shade Truffle is gonna work as a great contour to add that extra definition, like look at that. Ooh, I love it so much. So I'm also gonna go ahead and set that bronze with the MAC um, Give Me Sun bronzer. And we're just gonna put that all over. And I also did do a little bit of extra contouring with the darker shade in the Kat Von D palette. And I'm also contouring my nose a little bit with the Fenty Latte Match Stick. So for blush, I'm taking the new blush kit from Anastasia. I love this, it's perfect for fall. I'm taking this gorgeous mauve brick shade and I'm popping that on the cheeks. This palette is beautiful for fall, so if you're a blush junkie, you need it. So to do a little bit of highlighting, I'm taking the Anastasia Liquid Glow in Peach Fuzz. I really love this, it's quickly become one of my favorite liquid highlights, so I'm just popping that on a um, sponge first and then on the face, it's like my favorite way to apply it. And then I am going to set that with a powder highlight, which is the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Glow Kit in Glow Getter. It's called Glow Getter, but every time I just wanna say Glow Getter. So let me say Glow Getter. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. I always have to admire my highlight in the viewfinder. <laughs> Moving on to brows, we're taking the Anastasia Dip Brow and also the Anastasia Brow Powder, both in the shade Dark Brown. I'm just using the Dip Brow Pomade to um, pretty much fill in the brows for the, for the most part. And then I'm just gonna take the shadow to touch up the brow and also to do the front of the brow. This has been like my new fave brow technique. And then I am setting that with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist in medium slash dark and also translucent. Moving on to the eyes, I'm just quickly priming my eyes with a little bit of the Tarte concealer that I used already on the face and I'm just blending that out. And I'm also setting it with some translucent powder. Moving on to the eyes, we're gonna be using Makeup Geek eyeshadows today. So I'm using Peach Smoothie first and we're just gonna pop this in the crease as a transition. You'll notice the theme for like today's makeup tutorial for the eyes is to focus the shadows on the outer corner and just really smoke out a bunch of cool tone shades and browns. So next we're gonna be taking Bandwagon. This is such a beautiful like mauve gray. I am just going to pop that in the crease and really smudge it out and smoke it out on the outer corner and I'm not gonna be afraid to um, bring it underneath as well just to keep it, I don't know, it doesn't have to be perfect, like make it a bit messy, rub it around, don't keep it perfect. You want it to look smoky and sultry and with every shadow, whatever's left over, I'll bring a little bit to the inner corner but for the most part, we're keeping it on the outer part. 
So next I am taking Latte and Latte is a really nice darker version of like this cool toned neutral. It's really beautiful. Again, I am just smudging this in the outer corner, but I'm kind of focusing it more just to really add that extra dimension. This look just really consists of a lot of blending and going over everything with the super big blending brushes. And then next we're gonna be taking Barcelona Beach just to add some extra definition, deepen up the outer corner, really make it look super smoky on the outer edge of the eye. This is what's gonna give it that super sultry like fall vibe. I love it, I'm totally in love with how this look came out. So like I said, we're not bringing it much into the inner corner, but you can just shade it in a little bit. And then next we are taking fudge, and this is just going to add a little bit of brownie fudginess. <laughs> this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I am first just placing that on the outer corner, and then I'm going to dust off the shadow off my brush and use the same brush to blend it out with no product on, um, just so that you can actually blend it and I don't take the shadow further than I want it to be. I want it to stay in the outer corner and buff it out. So next I am taking Concrete Jungle, which is a straight up gray, straight up gray, but I just wanted to put it in there just to add a little bit more coolness to the eye, just a tad bit to add more tones. And then we're just of course doing some more blending. This look consists of a lot of blending. So now for the under eye, we're taking the same exact shades we did to the top and just reversing it and doing it on the bottom. But again, we're sticking with the pattern of keeping that smokiness and that depth on the outer corner. So you're not gonna bring it in that much. You're keeping it on the outer and then just kind of ombreing it slightly to the inner part. But again, keeping the deepness and the smokiness to the outer portion. And again, just going everything in blending. This is actually the Morphe M504 blending brush. And then we're moving on to tight lining. So I'm gonna take the dark black on the top and then we're gonna pop the brown on the bottom. And the brown is ColourPop and Kathleen Light's Mr. Bing. And again, we're just putting it on the outer portion. And then I'm gonna move on to mascara just to prep my lashes for falsies. Um, so for falsies, I put them on off camera and I actually use Esquito Voila lashes and I think those are perfect because they really feather out towards the outer portion and get like that cat eye effect so it matches the shadow. So for the lips, I really wanted a deep, dark, neutral, cool brown. So we're taking Kylie's True Brown K. I'm absolutely obsessed with this rich, deep, dark brown lip with the smoky gray brown eyes. I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you are in the mood for some more fall tutorials, don't forget to give me a like thumbs up because I have a couple more ideas up my sleeve. So like this video if you want to continue doing more fall makeup tutorials. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.